With the Freeform Match Edge tool, you can modify a freeform body to match to existing model or sketch geometry. This is an effective tool for matching a freeform shape to a solid body. In this exercise, you will use the Match Edge tool to develop a seat cushion. The model contains two sketches containing a spline curve in each. These are the edges that will later be matched. The browser also contains a thickened loft feature that will be revealed later to compare the differences between the Match Edge and Loft tools. In the browser, double-click the freeform named Form 1 to open the freeform editing environment. The freeform consists of a single plane. On the Modify panel, select Match Edge. The Match Edge dialog box appears and prompts you to select the edges of the freeform shape. Double-click one of the edges on the plane's left side, which is near Sketch 1. Click the Target Selection button in the dialog box. Click Sketch 1 as the geometry the freeform should match. The Tolerance group in the dialog box allows you to specify how close the edges and target should match. The default tolerance is 0.001 millimeters. The actual precision reached is displayed as a passive value in the Achieved field. Had this freeform edge been a NURBS curve, you would have been able to select G0, G1, or G2 continuity. Click OK. Run the Match Edge command again. Double-click any of the edges on the right side of the freeform shape near Sketch 2. You can proceed to target selection by right-clicking in the Graphics window and selecting Continue from the Marking menu. The preview is shown, and the achieved precision is calculated. Click OK. The freeform shape has been changed to match the sketch geometry. This would have been difficult to accomplish using only the Edit Form tool. Expand the freeform feature in the browser. Expand the Matches folder. Note the sketch geometry that has been matched. Right-click and select Finish Freeform from the Marking menu. The freeform is displayed as a surface and the feature is listed in the Surface Bodies folder in the browser. Edit Sketch 1. Change the vertical dimension near the center to 20 millimeters. Also change the angle dimension to 160 degrees. Finish editing the sketch. The freeform shape no longer matches the sketch geometry. Double-click Form 1 in the browser to edit the freeform shape. In the browser, Matches folder, right-click Matched Edge 1. From the Context menu, select Rematch, and the freeform shape updates to match the sketch geometry. Another option on the context menu would allow you to redefine the match to different model or sketch geometry. Finish freeform editing. Use the thicken command to give volume to the surface feature. Use a thickness of 5 millimeters. In the browser, drag the end of part feature below thicken 1. Compare the different results of using a freeform plane and match geometry to that of similar sketch geometry and a loft. The following are some tips for using Match Edge. Edit the freeform model to be as close as possible to the final shape before creating the match. After completing the Match Edge command, use Edit Form or delete to remove any portions of the freeform body that extend beyond what is required. For closed loops, Match Edge works best when the curves turn in the same direction. If you are trying to create a box, avoid using loops around the end. 
avoid using match edge with sharp corners. The resulting model will have a crease that inventor will not be able to shell or thicken.